Uh, but this forms tool, it's, it's really more about than just the daily reports. The daily reports is probably that most common report that we get seen produced every day. But what this allows you to do is build custom forms for your, your field crew to complete on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, so you can be safety forms, inspection forms, maybe you even want to include things like vacation requests, or maybe it's material requests you can include here. So uh, I'll show you one example of a really simple inspection template. Uh, if I open the form on the right here, I can create a new version of this inspection template. It's going to ask me some, some basic questions. Again, you can kind of custom build these, so you can really kind of tailor it specific to your needs, you know, because we know, you know, uh, an electrical subcontractor is going to have different needs than a, a mechanical or a plumbing subcontractor. So all of these can be custom built. So you're not kind of getting pigeonholed into to certain forms that really don't apply to you. Uh, but anyways, what you can do here is you'll go through assign the date. It's automatically going to pull the project name, uh, who it's created by. So you're not having to kind of manually enter that information. And then you can say, hey, uh, this pass, this failed pass, 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 pass. Uh, you can add any comments, attachments, and what's really nice is you have the ability to add things like a signature field on the bottom. And this is great if it's anything uh, for like, let's say you have safety training that you're creating a form for and you need the people to sign it at the end of the day, you're basically able to still do it in a digital format while capturing those signatures. So not a great signature there for me, but you can quickly do it. You'll complete it you have the option to either just complete it or complete an email. So let's say I just complete it here. Whoops. It's going to notify me of fields that I didn't complete. So let's go back. Let's say we pass those. And now it's going to show I have a completed form. So you can see all the completed forms within this list here. So let's say I go through and create five other inspection forms. They're all going to display in this list. But what's really handy is if we go back to that calendar view, it's now going to tell me what day I completed the form. So this way you have a record of when were inspections completed, when was safety training completed. You're not having to rely solely on like, hey, we, we did it. I filled out the paperwork. I dropped it off on your desk and then it gets buried under a mountain of paperwork and who knows where to find it. Right here is a great way to document when, what forms were completed and when they were completed.